Hey guys, this is Anon uh, with some Persian gameplay today here on Canal, uh, platooned with Xavier of Storm, uh, pretty common platoon mates, and uh, he's in his Panther 2. Uh, I, I don't think I've ever made a video on the Persian, but it is actually one of my favorite tanks at any tier. Um, if I want to carry something, uh, this is kind of my go-to tank because the the fantastically uh, strong mantlets, uh, the good gun depression, it may not be the fastest tank ever, um, but I find at tier 8 uh, it has so much uh, nice benefits that it can really carry well. It also has fantastic APCR with wonderful pen, uh, so the gun really sings on it. That's why I carry so much of it. It's not a high alpha tank, so you find yourself shooting quite a bit, and uh, has, you, it's not uncommon to have to use a lot of that APCR because it is such a benefit of the tank. So, uh, rolling up to one of my favorite starting positions, hiding in the bush, uh, trying to see if any of their mediums pop over the hill. It doesn't seem like they're going to, and now they're starting to get spotted in the center, so I'm going to roll forward uh, and see if I can get any shots on these guys. Uh, they're hiding behind uh, the rocks, which they should be, uh, so I'm going to just kind of continue up. Our team is not doing much moving, <laughs> as you can kind of see from the map, uh, so now I, I'm trying to spot and see what shots I can get. Uh, luckily, again, this is a strength of this tank with the fantastic gun depression so I and so I can use these bushes uh, and start to pick off guys that are moving out into the open uh, without too much fear of being t shot. Uh, I'm spotted but it doesn't really bother me because again I have that great gun depression. <laughs> There's a, a sneaky sneaky ammo rack there but we'll take it getting rid of a big gun. Uh, Chiri comes up on my left and gets, uh, gets a pretty lucky shot to hit my gun but uh, we can just heal that here real quick. And keep moving forward. There's not a lot of red spotted. Uh, my team is not going to help with spotting. It doesn't appear. So instead, I just need to uh, work this hill unless they make me move uh, and take out whatever I can. So the IS-6, uh, don't really get a shot on him, but but right now uh, I've got quite a few red tanks around me. So I'm going to play it a little bit cautious as well. I'm hoping for shots on this Chi Ri, uh, which he is letting me take uh, here and there, and just keep working, especially because. Uh, no shock since that our t my team is camping so hard uh, they're starting to get picked off and we're already down one tank uh, so I don't want to take a lot of damage thinking that in the late game this could be uh, pretty tight um, Xavier moves up uh, he decides he doesn't want that cheery to be there anymore uh, so I'm trying to help him out a little bit because that that clip can do a lot of damage to a panther too uh, I don't really want to charge down unless I have to, especially because he's got so much cover to kind of wiggle around down there. Uh, running down to the right, uh, I know most of the red uh, team is over there and would be able to shoot me, so I'm trying to avoid doing that. Just kind of protecting if he backs up a little bit too far. Comet starts sneaking out again, so we're going to keep working that. Again, our team is getting uh, beat up pretty bad uh, behind us because they, they s never really left spawn 2 area, so we need to, to kind of conserve those hit points, like I said. Just picking shots. Now Xavier is starting to get pushed by this Comet, so I don't really have a choice but to come over a little bit farther and, and help him out there. Uh, he can handle the Chi Ri. Um, so now I'm starting to protect, need to protect our backside. The Centurion moves down uh, to, to move me out of my hold down area, which is a good move. Um, but unfortunately, the E25 picks off Xavier uh, before he's able to take out that Chiri. Uh, I probably should have gone down and helped him in hindsight, but uh, uh, even as we were chatting, he thought he had him. So uh, sometimes you get sniped, just part of the game. So I can uh, come over here and he gets himself exposed and finally take him out. Uh, I can see the E25 over there. Uh, doesn't do much, but the Centurion is so exposed that I can sneak over and get another shot on him. Uh, slowly working the uh, the tank count back in our favor. Uh, only down by one at this point, which is good. That E25 is doing a good job of uh, peeking out and getting a shot on me and then letting his camo reset so I can't just work on him too hard. Plus, I'm seeing tanks start to roll in on my right. Uh, which is a huge concern. Switch to APCR because there's are much heavily, more heavily armored tanks, uh, and pop the adrenaline too because this is going to be pretty much the game right here. I feel like. Uh, 
starting to get downhill shots on the IS-3. Uh, my teammate doesn't make it, so it's time to uh, try and get a circle in here. I assume he's probably going to get a shot in on me at some point because I have these hills to deal with, um, but I've saved so many hit points throughout the rest of the game uh, that uh, just kind of set up a situation like this. Finally, my camping teammate comes screaming in to, uh, to give me a hand now here or steal the kill, depending on how you want to look at it. Uh, E25 comes in because he was trying to help the IS-3, and so there is finally the game. So, uh, didn't run all over the map like I frequently do. Uh, took the advantageous position and uh, whittled them down, especially with our camping team. Sometimes you just have to overcome that. And uh, it's quite a bit of damage for a low alpha tank like this. But like I said, one of my favorites, and uh, I would recommend it to anyone. So uh, take care, and thanks for watching.